Hey guys, it's Nate here again with a new video on your data science journey and the educational resources that you might find useful depending on what stage of the journey you're in. I recently posted a video where I talked about 18 online resources to learn data science. Obviously 18 is way too many for a single individual. So what I wanna do instead is break down your data science journey into different stages based off of experience and goals and recommend a few online resources to help you in the stage you're at in your data science journey. So I talked to a few data scientists that I know, I asked them about their journey, collected a few recommendations for online resources that have helped them along their career. I matched that information with my data science journey and a few of the online platforms that I recommend as well. So I collected all that information and what I want to do now is share the four stages in your data science journey and a few online resources that can help you along the way. So before we dive right in, please subscribe to my channel and be alerted whenever I release new data science content. So now just diving right into your journey as a data scientist. So from what I've collected from talking to the community as well as reflecting on my journey myself is that your journey as a data scientist can be broken up into four different stages. So going from a complete novice to landing a job, a data science job, there are four stages of essentially education uh, going from a novice to your first job. So the first one is learning syntax and tools, your first exposure to data science. And so let's double a click into this. So again, the first step is learning syntax and tools, your first exposure as a data scientist or as somebody learning to become a data scientist. What your goal is in this stage is to understand what some of the problems are in data science, to see if you like that type of problem, uh, to see if you like coding, to see if you like the platforms and tools a data scientist would use, right? So the whole point of this stage is to learn how to code, to learn, for example, maybe statistics and math and modeling and all of that theory and to test out the tools and platforms that you'd be using on the job. So at this stage, everybody is a beginner. So you may have come out of university or you might still be in school or you may have switched careers, uh, but you might only have one or two you know, coding classes underneath your belt. You may not have any coding experience at all, but this stage is to get some exposure about um, platforms, about code, about data science type of problems. So the type of online resources that you wanna leverage to, to learn and get exposure to data science would actually be uh, in this bottom part right here where you are a beginner user, right? So I myself started with Mode Analytics, both the SQL and the Python tutorial that helped me learn SQL and Python pretty well to some extent uh, before I had to switch to the next level or switch to the next platform to take me up another level. Uh, but in the beginning stages, in the, in the first stage, as you are getting exposure, any one of these platforms down here would help you gain exposure to coding and data science type of problems. So in addition to Mode Analytics, I would also recommend complete data science courses or coding courses uh, offered from Coursera or Udemy uh, to really get, give you the exposure you need to understand whether or not you are interested in data science. All right, so now you've learned the tools, you've learned a little bit about the types of problems you would deal with in data science, and you like it, you want to get out of tutorial mode and into something a little bit more complicated. And this brings you to stage two. In stage two, what you're trying to do is get out of tutorial mode and get into topics that are a little bit more specialized for the industry or the type of data science you want to get into. For me, Data Camp is what got me out of tutorial mode. They have a bunch of specialized topics that allow me to, you know, leverage data science topics like developing a machine learning model and specialize that or apply that to something 
uh, more in a specific industry that I was interested in going to. So that's how I got out of tutorial mode. And if you take a look at some of the other recommendations, so not only do we have Data Camp up here, but we also have other online resources like Code Academy, Stratascratch, Lead Code, all geared towards helping you upskill on specialty type topics that you could apply to either data science or software development as this graph shows. So not only in this stage are you trying to get out of tutorial mode and into something a little bit more complex and complicated, but what you're also doing is you're trying to learn at what a career in data science actually means. And to learn a little bit more about this, what I did and what some of my um, colleagues did in this data science community is to then learn uh, from others from YouTube and from Reddit and other discussion forums that might be available out there. Right. So the purpose of uh, going to YouTube and watching these videos or going to Reddit and, and kind of lurking at some of the posts is to learn about what other problems, what, what problems other data scientists are being exposed to and are experiencing. Uh, so you can kind of understand what a career in data science might feel like and what you might experience in the future. So in summary, stage two is about getting out of tutorial mode and into data science topics that are a lot more complicated and complex that you can eventually apply to your job, to the industry that you're interested in going to. In addition to that, it's about going to discussion forums like on Reddit or watching videos from other data scientists on YouTube to understand what their experiences are like, to kind of be able to envision what a career in data science might look like uh, on, on your end, uh, just from other people's experiences. So now you're a little bit better at data science and at coding, and you learned a little bit about what the career might look like as a data scientist, and you're excited to become one. So the next step is uh, stage three, which is to get more serious. What you wanna do is get out of these educational platforms like Data Camp and get into doing projects that uh, will test your skills from end to end, right? And so for for that example or for that use case, you definitely want to try out non-educational platforms like Kaggle, for example, to actually you know do some of these projects and to rank yourselves against other data scientists. You might actually feel that you don't want to do Kaggle. You might want to do an an online or an in-person data science boot camp. General Assembly is a very popular one where they'll teach you how to become a data scientist. And then obviously, once you're kind of done with Kaggle, you're done with the boot camp, you want to interview prep to become a data scientist. You definitely then want to try one of these interview prep platforms like LeetCode or Stratascratch, where there's a ton of questions that are essentially data science interview questions uh, from real companies that, in, that can get you the practice you need uh, to be very successful in these interviews. So here in this stage, the goal is to get a lot more serious at becoming a data scientist. So what you wanna do is refine your skills so that you could work on projects, you can make a meaningful impact, and you can answer and solve questions on an, on an interview very quickly and without a lot of struggle. So what you want is a lot of practice at uh, some of these projects and interview questions. So now the only thing missing is landing a job and getting paid to become a data scientist, which takes us to step four, which is landing your first data science job. So if you haven't had any you know, uh, industry or professional experience or had a job as a data scientist before, getting out of stage three can be really tough, right? And so really what you wanna do is take stage three seriously, prep and study as much as possible. So, you know, coding is like second nature to you and answering these technical questions is second nature to you. So that when you first, uh, when you get, do land your first job, you're able to apply those skills. And so in this stage, what you're really looking forward to and what you're really trying to get at is an understanding of what type of projects interest you. So there, as a data scientist, many, many different types of roles, many different types of data scientists. 
You could be creating um, recommendation engines every single day. You can be uh, deploying things to production or keeping things on the development servers. You can be creating data pipelines. You can do more like R&D type of analyses. Uh, whatever it is, in the beginning years, you're gonna probably do them all. And then as you kind of specialize and grow into your career, you might, you might just do less and less and just kind of be more specialized in certain roles. But this, this stage here as your first job, like the whole point is to understand what you like and what kind of roles and, and responsibilities you enjoy doing as a data scientist. So now that we've talked about a typical data science journey, I do have to say that not all data science journeys are the same. This is essentially a collection of common stages and themes that I picked up when talking to a few data scientists in the community, as well as reflections on my own journey as well. So if you're watching this video, I'm guessing that you are on stages one to three and you're trying to figure out a way to land your first or you know, beginning data science jobs. Um, and so what I would recommend is, depending on what stage you're in, select a few online resources to help you in that stage and help you get to the next level, right? So the stage four is really where we wanna end up being, being a professional data scientist. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you understand where you might fit in this journey and what you need to do to get to the next stage or get to the next level. There are a bunch of online resources that I talked about in this video. There's also another video that I posted a few weeks ago where I talked about 18 online resources for uh, data science.